hey you guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome i hope you stick around if you're returning thank you so much for coming back so as you know if you've watched my videos in the past after about a month or so i try and go through all the items that i use that i purchased from the dollar tree and i let you know if it's worth your dollar fifty or if it's not. So let's get right into it. We have quite a bit of stuff today. We are gonna start off with these hot cocoa balls. So this one here is milk chocolate with marshmallow. And this one is peppermint milk chocolate with marshmallow. Now, as soon as I tried these, I did do a review on them right away because when I was trying them, this was when everybody was buying items for stocking stuffers. So this was not good. You just put the little hot cocoa bomb into a mug, add milk, and mix it and enjoy. So what was the problem with these was there was not enough hot chocolate powder on the inside and the milk chocolate that it was enclosed in did not melt well. So I didn't like these. I don't think that they were worth the money. It's, I only used about, I think, four or six ounces of hot milk and it just tasted like warm milk. There was no hot chocolate flavor whatsoever to these. So I didn't think this was worth it and I definitely don't recommend. Next up is this vanilla mini pelotone. This was fantastic. I really enjoyed this. It had almost like little vanilla chips inside of it. So it had a good sweetness to it, but not overly sweet. It was great with coffee. And here in Canada, these were $1.75 a piece. I highly recommend these. These are great and they are perfect for an individual serving. So I recommend these. These are good. And then we have from an American Dollar Tree is this Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer Snack Mix. So inside here there was peanuts, pretzels, and peanut butter filled little shapes. This was good. It was probably filled up to here. So there was quite a bit in there for how much you paid for it. The pretzels were itty bitty just like those, but they had a generous amount of the peanut butter filled shapes and not too many peanuts. So this was a really good snack and I definitely recommend this. At Halloween time, the Cottage Country put out these little individual packs of the peanut butter pieces, which is those right there. There was probably, I'm going to say 10 to 12 packs in there, and they were fantastic. If you like Reese's Pieces, you definitely are not going to regret that purchase. And from Granny Appleton were these Real Fruit Sours, which were these right here. And I bought these near Halloween time, so they are the exact size of a regular Halloween candy. And these were great. I recommend them. They were perfect. From an American Dollar Tree were these creamsicle candy canes. You got six in here. These were actually really good. So the American Dollar Trees get a whole big variety of different flavored candy canes. And these were fantastic. I really enjoyed them. Um, I just put them out and I actually added some to Christmas gifts just as an extra little treat on the side, but I definitely needed to try one. So they for sure tasted just like a regular creamsicle. If you like different kinds of candy canes, I recommend these. From the brand Lily's were these semi-sweet style baking chips. So these are no sugar added. I feel like I hit the jackpot when I got these. I did pick up about four or five bags just to stock up because these are actually very expensive if you were to buy them in a regular grocery store. And I like them. They were really nice. No complaints. The date on them was good. And this was not a Dollar Tree staple. This was just like one of those probably overstock that they ended up getting in. And if I see them again, I would definitely purchase them. Another item from an American Dollar Tree was these Sweet Chaos Drizzled Popcorn. So every year, or sorry, not every year, every season, the Sweet Chaos Company puts out different popcorns that are geared to that holiday. And I love these. There has not been one that I have not come across yet. And if you can find these in your American Dollar Tree, I say pick them up. They make great gifts or good snacks for yourself. Another item from an American Dollar Tree was this cookie butter cream where there's original. So inside it had little cream inside that tasted like a cookie butter. These were great. I really wish our Dollar Trees had these, but they don't. You don't get too many in the pack, but it's a nice little treat. So another item from where there's original were the creamy caramels. These are good. If you like caramel, you can't go wrong with these. And the reasons, which are a caramel covered 
um, European chocolate. These are so good. I love these. You don't get too many in the pack, but just enough so that way you get a little treat and they're good to put in a candy jar. So I picked up this seven days croissant with cocoa filling. So it's just like a chocolate croissant. I was a little hesitant on this, I'm not gonna lie, but I wanted to try it and I was pleasantly impressed. So there is a little bit of chocolate filling on the inside. It's not too sweet. It's a decent size and it is so soft and fresh. I was impressed. I really like these and I would recommend them. If you've watched my Dollar Tree empties in the past, this will not come as a surprise to you. I like buying the bags of popcorn from the Dollar Tree. It is a little unfortunate now that they are $2 and not just $1.50, um, but everything's gone up. There's not much you can do about it. But with that being said, I still buy these. I love them. They are great. You get three bags in the box. Sticking with the popcorn theme, I like buying the Pop Top um, popcorn seasoning. I did rip off the top of this one. I'm sorry. But these come in a few different flavors. I think they have a dynamite dill, the white cheddar, a ketchup, mm, and, and I can't think of the other flavors at the top of my head. But the white cheddar is my favorite and I recommend these. I love them. Next up is this cherry blossom, which is a chocolate covered cherry with a little bit of a cherry cream on the inside. These are so good. They are extremely sweet, so you got to be mindful of that. But if you wanted to bring back a little bit of nostalgia, my parents used to buy these when I was a kid. Um, so we bought these because we haven't seen them in a long time. But yeah, these are good. I recommend them, but just be mindful. They are extremely sweet. Next is the Annie's Organic Rich and Creamy Shells and Cheddar. So it's just essentially macaroni and cheese, but it is 70% organic. Now, these are really expensive in the grocery store, so these were not a Dollar Tree staple. This is just one of those overstock items they got. I love this because you don't actually need to put butter or milk inside the pot to make it. You just squeeze out the cheese and mix it really good. These are really good and they would, it would serve about two people a good generous portion. Lastly in the food items is this Betty Crocker spiced cake mix. This was really good. I actually made them into cupcakes and made a homemade cream cheese frosting. Made this for Christmas. This was great. You just need some water or milk, a half a cup of vegetable oil, and three eggs. So nothing special. You can get these at the normal grocery store, but Dollar Tree had them, and I picked it up out of convenience. So I recommend this. This was good. Moving right along, we're going to get into these Christmas trees. So I talked about these for Halloween. Now, these are really scarce on branches. So if you're going to purchase these trees, I suggest buying two and putting them together. That way it makes a little bit fuller of a Christmas tree. I bought this just to put up at work as a little decoration, just to bring some cheer to the workplace. And putting two together was perfect. But having just one standalone, it's very scarce. And I would say don't do it. But if you're putting two together, you can just push them together, zip tie it, and it works perfect. So next I picked up, there was six ornaments on this box. I know there's nothing to show you, but I did want to share with you. They were the little wooden tags. They had like the little red truck on it and like some that say joy and peace. I like to add little tiny ornaments to these and they were perfect. So if you just want to add a little something to a gift, they would be perfect. Every Christmas Dollar Tree puts out these bags of gift bows. You get 22 in here and it's an assortment of colors. They are self adhesive, so you don't need tape to add them on. You just peel the paper off and stick it to your present. These are fantastic. If you get them pretty early, you can get nice ones, um, random colors. Some are shiny, some are sparkly, and some are more of the vintage, I don't want to say dull colored ones, but like the regular plain bow ribbon kind of colors like the ones that we used to see on our presents back in the day so i recommend these these are good for the first time this year dollar tree put out these led candles with timers and it was just like a candlestick it did come with a suction cup so you could suction cup it to the window you just add the batteries to it and there is a built-in timer that stays on for six hours so whatever time you turn them on for the very first time 
it'll come on at the same time every day so you don't have to worry about fussing with them. This was great. They worked good. Now, I just put them on a shelf. I did not stick them to a window, so I can't tell you exactly how good the suction cup was, but it was a pretty large suction cup, so I would assume that it would stick good enough to the window. So if you see these, pick them up. And of course, we have to buy the Scotch tape from the Dollar Tree. You get two in here. Um, it says that it's 19 millimeters long or 250 inches in each um, roll. So these stuck good. It worked perfect for my presents. I have no complaints and I would buy this again. And you certainly cannot go wrong with Dollar Tree holiday socks. So two of them were the Snugadoos and they were infused with aloe. I love these. They were great. And of course, some regular um, socks which Dollar Tree always has some really cute ones, especially for the holidays, so I recommend those. Keep your eye open. Moving into the health and beauty stuff, I picked up this denture brush. Now, I don't have dentures, however, I liked the hardness of the bristles of this brush for cleaning, especially like in between the tiles, like on the grout in the shower. So I recommend these. They would, these were great for cleaning, and I can't see them not working out properly for dentures, so I recommend them for that too. From an American Dollar Tree, I picked up this all day allergy relief. It's the um, just allergy pills. It relieves sneezing, itchy, watery eyes, runny nose, and itchy throat or nose as well. You can see the actual size of the pill, so it's pretty small. In the box, you got 14 tablets, and in the container, you got 12. So these were great. They work just fine. I have no issues with them, so I recommend them. Next up from the brand Personal Care was this raw shea butter soap. It was a bar soap, and it's made with rosemary extract. As you can see, it's compared to the Shea Moisture raw shea butter soap. Um, this was fantastic. Now, I get really dry skin in the wintertime, as do most people, so I wanted to give this a shot right now, and I love this stuff. It works really good. It doesn't leave, like, any kind of residue on your skin, but you definitely feel moisturized after using this, so I recommend this. I love it. From the brand Be Pure was this infused pressed face powder, and it provides um, smooth matte finish, and it's infused with green tea. So this is the second one I've bought. As you can see, it's just like a clear powder and it really helps bring down any kind of shine that you might get on your face. I really like this stuff. It doesn't really have a smell to me and it doesn't break me out. So this is fantastic. I bought another one and I recommend them. I've reviewed these before from the brand We Well is this Retinol Miracle Boost sheet mask. So you get this little syringe on the inside, you untwist the cap, you put it on here and you squeeze it into the face mask and it just infuses it with um, some retinol. And I really like this face mask. It actually sticks to your face really good and it doesn't break me out. And when I'm all done, my face feels really hydrated. So I recommend this. From an American Dollar Tree, I picked up these 32 count clean and calm lavender and ginseng facial wipes from the brand Bolero. We don't have Bolero here, but I do enjoy some of their items. And that includes these face wipes. So it's cruelty free, dye free, paraben free, and sulfate free. And again, you get 32 wipes in here. They do have a very light scent to them, which was the lavender and ginseng. And I really like them. I have no issues with these whatsoever. They do not break my face out. They do not dry my face out. So I recommend these. From the brand Sassy and Chic is this makeup vanishing towel. So these are fantastic. If you wear makeup, you just put the cloth under the water, get it really good and wet, wring it out, and wash your face with it. It removes all the makeup without using any chemicals. So this is fantastic. It works really good on mascara, any kind of foundation or concealer, anything that you use, it will take it off at ease. So I highly, highly, highly recommend these. These are great. We are almost coming to an end here. We just have a couple more items. So I picked up these eye drops from Medic's Choice. These are fantastic. As I've mentioned before, I do suffer from very dry eye. So as soon as I wake up in the morning, I do use an eye drop of some sorts just to lubricate my eyeball. 
And these were great. I like them. They do exactly what I need them to, so I recommend it. Oh, this came from an American Dollar Tree, by the way. From the brand Jot was these ballpoint pens. You got four in here. It was purple, blue, green, and pink. They worked perfect. They really are a smooth write, and I like them. I recommend these. And lastly is this earphone case. This one fits the AirPod Pros. They did have the regular AirPod cases as well and it comes with a little clip for it and it can hook on to the end here. I just wanted to show you that this actually holds the AirPod case really nicely. As you can see, there's space for the charger so you don't even have to take it out of the case and a spot for the hinge so when you open it, it does not cause any um, issues when you open it. So I highly recommend this. This will protect your AirPod case from getting scratched or damaged. So I highly recommend those. If you see them, you can pick them up. I did only see them in three colors, which was pink, purple, and blue. So that's going to be everything for this month's Dollar Tree empty video. Thank you so much for watching and I want to wish you all a happy new year. I hope everything is going to go good for you this year, and I wish you all the best. Thank you so much again, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.